Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the management of pass keys, in particular how they're managed on the Bitwarden system. First thing we're going to do is log into the Web Vault, and in previous videos linked above, you can click on where we've shown how to add a pass key to the Bitwarden Vault. So we'll come down here and we're going to select the Android phone. We've called up the Android phone over here on the left, and we're going to select Next. And we'll get our notification sent to the phone. We'll come down here and select More Options. And we'll select this device because we have multiple tokens on the phone. That's the profile we want. If you want a different profile, you would select it here. Continue. Now we authenticate to the device. And we're logged in with the passkey, just that simple. So what we want to do is create a passkey for this Authentrin account. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to log into this Gmail account. And the Bitwarden extension popped up because we're logged into that. So we'll come down here and we'll say skip this just once because we want to log in with a hardware security key. And we're logging in with the Authentrin AT Key Pro. There's a link to a video above on why we think it's better than the YubiKeys biometric key. So we just touch the key, it turns green, and you're in to the account. That simple. All right, so to recap that, we've logged in on the Web Vault, we've logged in on the account, and we're logged in on the extension. So we click on the account icon for the Gmail here, and we select Manage Your Google Account. Under that, we're going to go into Security, and under Security, we're going to select the Passkey section, and there you can see all the passkeys that we have on the account. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click Create Passkey. What's going to happen is you're going to get a pop-up here and the default storage of this is on the Windows operating system because we're running Windows with Chrome. That would store it in the TPM, the Trusted Platform Module. It's basically a hardware security vault where all critical security information for things like the authentication keys for pass keys are stored. But we're going to select Use Another Device and it's as simple as coming over here to say Save the Pass Key. Now you can use a pass key to log into this account. And what we'll do, we'll show you how simple this works. Fantastic implementation here. We'll sign out. Now we're going to click Sign In again. Next. And you notice the extension popped up. And we do have a pass key, so all we have to do is click Confirm. And we signed in with the pass key that we saved inside the Bitwarden Vault. So we come back here into Security. The confusing part of this is if you come into Pass Keys, you don't really see the pass key listed here. But it is here. It's under this FIDO Security Key 4. And you can edit the name of it here. You could label it the Bitwarden Passkey, or you could delete it if you wanted to delete it. This is where the management of passkeys becomes a little confusing. They're being stored in different areas in different ways and managed in different ways. It's not like when you had the passwords, right? You had them all on a password vault, knew how to get to them, you knew how to delete them, you knew how to change them. It's much more confusing with passkeys. But what we're going to do is go into the Bitwarden vault and show you how to manage the passkey from there. And I'll explain why this says clone in a minute, but come in here and you can see it says passkey created. So we just created that passkey. So now let's say at a later date, you decide you want to remove that pass key because you're going to recreate it or something for some reason. Anyway, you want to manage the pass key inside the Bitwarden vault for this particular Authentrin account. Well, that's not an easy process. So what you have to do is you have to come in here and select it and go over here and you have to clone it. And that's why this says clone before. And it tells you the pass key will not be copied. This is the only way to remove the pass key. So we'll say yes. And now it says clone clone because we had cloned it before. So we'll hit save. Now what you'll see is when we open this one, it says clone twice. There is no pass key associated. When we open the one that says clone only, there is a pass key. So the only way you get rid of the pass key is you come in here, delete the one that has the pass key. So we'll delete that and we'll say yes. And then you can come in here and clean this up so you can keep it straight and select save. Now we've saved that and we have no pass key. So what we'll do is we'll log out of here and sign out of the account. We're going to click sign back into the Gmail account once more. Click next. And you notice this pops up, but it's telling you there are no pass keys found on this application. So we select just once again, select our biometric key, touch the key, and we're logged into the account. Anyway, that's just a quick summary of how to manage pass keys in the Bitwarden Vault. You can only clone the credential, which does not copy the pass key. 
then delete the original credential that does have the passkey. It's not straightforward. Passkeys are confusing in the way that they're being handled and managed. Each operating system, platform, device management is different. So you'll have to keep that in mind and it's evolving to make it even more complex. The rules are not set in place. So as passkeys get adopted, the management of this is going to evolve. We'll keep you updated. Thanks for joining us on this passkey journey with Bitwarden. Give the video a thumbs up if it helped and stick around for more cybersecurity tips and tricks by subscribing. Share your thoughts on passkeys in the comments. Your feedback keeps us going. Have a wonderful hack-free day.